Hello everyone, welcome to Happenings Now. I'm your host, Jennifer Dunn, and today coming up, I have two guests with me today that are going to talk about the upcoming workshops that are taking place here at the South Centers. everyone and welcome back to Happenings Now. Today I have with me Christy Wells, Direct Marketing Director here of the OSU South Centers and she's going to talk about some of her workshops that she has going on in agritourism and market ready if anybody needs help getting their products to market. Hi Christy, how are you today? Good Jennifer, it's good to be here. As I stumbled all over your direct, your title. That's so it is no problem. Director of Marketing and Agritura, Agritourism. Business. So actually um, I lead our direct food and agricultural marketing okay. team through OSU Extension and our program is statewide and we have about a dozen folks on our team, Extension educators and partnering organizations and our whole goal really is to help uh, local producers uh, be better marketers so hopefully they'll make more money which leads to more more sustainability. Good, and I believe on that note, you have a market-ready producer training that's coming up here? We do. We're partnering with the OSU Extension Office in Franklin County. So this training will be in Columbus, Ohio on March the 19th. And our Market Ready training is a program that we do that is really designed to help producers um, explore different market channels. Okay. So let's say I've been spending most of my time selling at farmer's markets, and I want to look at either getting into restaurants or maybe even go wholesale. And so this training program really looks at those different business functions of selling to those different market channels. As you can imagine, uh, selling directly to the consumer at a farmer's market is quite a bit different than selling to either a restaurant or even a wholesaler is, is especially different. So we're really just providing that information uh, to help those producers explore those different channels and see if that might be a fit for their business. Okay. So these are individuals that are already set up at a farmer's market and already distribute through a farmer's market, so they've been there a while? So they don't have to be already selling okay. at a farmer's market. They can be selling at any of the market channels, and then they're exploring just diversifying their market. Okay. So they've got multiple channels they're they selling to. they have been in the business for a while, and they are already got their foot in the door, and they're selling. So they've got kind of a general idea of selling and the process and steps that you would have to go through to that's, sell? Yeah, now that's typically the case, okay. although if somebody's new to selling a product, I still say this would be a great opportunity for them to learn about the different ways they might be able to sell their product and help them to prepare to start their business. So okay. I wouldn't... Uh, so anybody, if Anybody can new, come. Okay. Yep, absolutely. That sounds really good. Now where is this at? Because I don't think this is here at the South Centers this time. Correct. This is going to be with the uh, Franklin County Extension Office in Columbus and um, their extension office is at 530 West Spring Street in Columbus, Ohio. And as the flyer you see up there, if you'd like more information, you can go to that Go link, which is go.osu.edu forward slash market ready Franklin, and that's with no spaces. Um, and you can get directions to their office there. Okay. You can register for the workshop and learn a little bit more. And I think I saw on the workshop flyer that there is a cost for this workshop? There is a cost for this workshop, so it's $25, and that includes their lunch. Uh, because this is about a six and a half hour okay. training, um, we'll start at 8.30 in the morning with registration, and then we won't conclude till 4.30 in the afternoon. Okay. Um, so we provide a lunch for them and some snacks throughout the day, and then they get a whole notebook of information about the different market channels and the information they gather that day. Okay, that sounds really good. And then again, it's just to help individuals that want to sell their products. Mm -hmm to branch out to restaurants, grocery stores? Yep. What we focus on again are those um, business functions. So for example, when you're selling direct to consumer at a farmer's market, typically you're exchanging payment right there. Right. Well, if you're selling to a restaurant or a wholesaler, you're not going to get cash when you deliver that product. And so there's a whole set of business functions that are different. Um, and we just, again, help provide that information and education so they can look at those different marketing opportunities. That sounds like a 
really interesting workshop. We've done this training now a number of years here in Ohio and we always get really good feedback from the people that attend so okay. it's very well received. Well before we go to the next topic does this have anything to do with social media or it's just? So we do talk a little bit about how you communicate with those okay. different customers so we'll touch a little bit on um, social media marketing but we also have our device ready program um, that is a whole day where we talk oh. nothing about social media marketing and that's something we can talk about another time. We will definitely have to do that because I know a lot of individuals also what new and interesting ideas how to to get themselves out there in the social media network. Absolutely. Okay, and I think next up we have the Ohio Agritourism Conference that's coming up. We do, so I'm really excited about that. This is our third year for uh, our Agritourism Conference here in Ohio, and we are hosting it at Mays Valley Winery, which is in Hartville, Ohio, so a little bit northeastern Ohio. Um, and Mays Valley started their agritourism operation back in 1960, and so they've been around for a while. Uh, they currently have tons of events. They have a local brewery, a craft brewery on their location, um, and plus in addition to all the agritourism activities that they do. So it's a really great opportunity to um, visit a successful agritourism operation and then learn about how agritourism might benefit your operation. So what we're finding is adding agritourism activities to your operation can really help diversify your cash flow bring in some typically off-season income and really be kind of that connection and that face of agriculture to the general public. That is really neat. Um, I guess the big highlights on that, there is a cost included in this. There is a cost for this one as well. Again, we will, it's an all-day workshop, so we'll be providing lunch. Um, it's $30 per person, and you can again see the registration link there. It's go.osu.edu forward slash agritourism conference 2019. And again, if you click there, you can find more information uh, and register for that workshop. And I will say that our space is limited. That's and this what is I a, just saw. I was uh, going to say something like that. It yep. looks like this is one that fills up really quickly. It does fill up quickly and we're uh, very excited. Again, this is the first year we'll actually be hosting it okay. at an agritourism operation. So That would be really neat. I can only imagine the insight that you would get to see somebody else on a day-to-day -day operate what their day is if you have a business that you're starting or you want to start or you're thinking about adding this on to an addition. Absolutely. Because I had, just to change a topic, I was setting getting my tires balanced and there was a gentleman there that sells pumpkins uh -huh. and he said his son had just started the agritourism they have a business down by the river yep. and he really didn't know how it was going to pan out yep. you know and me being me I'm like oh I work at the South Centers this is who you need to contact right very good very good and so it can be a really good addition to some operations there is some planning that goes into it um, and Ohio passed a law for um, agritourism tourism about three years ago now and so during our agritourism ready conference we'll be having breakout sessions where we'll talk about different activities that you might want to add we'll talk about managing some of the liability risk that goes along with having public come on to your operation um, you'll be able to interact with other agritourism operator operators excuse me and learn from them and I will just say that Bill Backen who he and his wife Michelle own Mays Valley Winery was the speaker at our conference last year when we had it here in uh -huh. Piketon and he was so well received by our attendees that were like hey Bill we're coming to your place next year <laughs> so we're really excited about that. Well this sounds like a wonderful idea to network. Absolutely. You've been in the business a while to network and remember the space is limited so if this is something you think you want to do follow the link sign up now. Very good. Yep it's going to be a great day we're really looking forward to it because the other thing I do want to mention um, after we do our education and training sessions then we're going to tour their operations so we'll get to see the whole thing. That sounds really nice. Yep. Too bad I couldn't sneak up and do that. That sounds like a really interesting thing. And yep. I think the last thing you have on your bill mm -hmm. coming up is the 2019 Small Farm Conference and Trade Show, which yep. is March 29th and 30th, and it will be held here at the South Centers. Yeah, and we're excited about that. This is a conference that's been held for a number of years over um, the last couple of decades here in Ohio. Um, and so we're really excited to bring it to Piketon this year. And so we're opening doors to 
to success for the Small Farm Conference and Trade Show, as Jennifer mentioned, March the 29th and 30th here in uh, Piketon at the OSU South Centers. Um, and those two days are just packed with all kinds of breakout sessions. So whether you're more interested in production uh, information or whether you want to learn more about marketing, uh, which I will be doing a presentation, Hannah Scott from our Centers for Cooperatives will be doing some presentations, whether it's that networking with other individuals that are thinking about or doing what you think you might want to do. Um, it's a great two-day conference for you to come and learn uh, just a variety of different things. You can see there on the screen all the different breakout sessions that will be available those two days. Um, and also I think the link is uh, provided below there for you to uh, learn more information and get registered for this conference as well. Yeah, just looking at, because I have the schedule here, just looking at it, they've got a horticulture section, an aquaculture section for any of our ABC boot camp graduates that have been around mm -hmm. and are in the business now. They've got a forestry, a livestock, soils, marketing, which you were talking mm -hmm. about. Let's see. It looks like understanding the consumer just in the marketing, creative marketing, cooperative marketing at the local market, growing your business with the market. So it looks like a lot of interesting things. And farm management along with some hands-on training and miscellaneous. Absolutely. So you can kind of pick and choose which sessions are most relevant for your particular operation. And you know, if you have multiple people coming from the same operation, that's really a great way to split up and, and gather more information throughout those two days. So do you have to register for the whole thing or can you just register for the certain sections that you're interested in? Yeah, you can you can register for either one day or both days um, and then there's also a hops, an additional hops workshop on the Friday evening and of course hops is a, a crop that's really grown in popularity yes, here has. in the last couple of years and so if that's something you're interested about, uh, again if you follow the link provided there you can find out you know which days and workshops you might want to register for. Um, it's either a Friday, a Saturday, or you can register once for both days. You can add on that hops workshop if that's something that you're interested in. Um, and you can, again, find all that information at the link provided. Good. Well, thank you so much, Christy, for coming on and letting me bend your ear, as they say, and tell us what all's going on in the agritourism part. Absolutely. And the marketing. Happy to do it. And we look forward to seeing everybody at these uh, workshops that are coming up. And and uh, if you have questions, why don't hesitate to um, go to those links or reach out, give us an email or give us a call and we'll be happy to provide more information. Okay. Hey everyone, and just to remind you of all the different workshops since Christy was so nice to take her time and tell us everything she did about the workshops. First up, we have the Market Ready Producer Training, which will be Tuesday, March 19th from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And just follow the link provided below to register or if you have any more questions. Then we have her Ohio Agritourism Conference coming up Monday, March 25th, 2019. And to finish it off, we have the Small Farm Conference and Trade Show, which will be held here at the South Centers, March 29th and the 30th. And again, follow the links below to register or if you have any other questions. And we will be right back with Brad Sherman. Hi. Hi, Brad. Thanks for joining me this afternoon to hey. talk about the pruning school. My pleasure. Upcoming. Always uh, love the opportunity to come on here with you and talk about and publicize some of the wonderful things we have coming on uh, at South Centers and, you know, talking about that small farm conference and trade show. Between that and the event I'm going to talk about, we're going to have a pretty busy march here at South Centers. We are. So, yes, on Thursday, March 14th, we will be having the uh, Blue Blueberry, Bramble, and Wine Grape Pruning School workshop, and uh, we're just kind of calling it Pruning School to make it nice and easy. That's, uh, that's a mouthful by the time it you talk is. about all those different things that we're going to be talking about. So we just call it Pruning School, and uh, this is a, a very popular event that uh, Dr. Gary Gow hosts every year, and it's all about, pruning is all about improving uh, the production, the, uh, the amount of production, and also the quality of your, per, of your production. And you can see there on the screen now, we're taking a look at a flyer. As I said, 
Thursday, March 14th. It's going to be a daytime event from 9.30 a.m. We'll get started and then should finish up around 3.30 p.m. Of course, since this is an all-day event, we are going to provide a lunch for people. Okay. And um, it should be it should be a really good and informative time. Dr. Gao will be joined by his assistant, Ryan Slaughter, as always. And uh, we'll, we're pleased to announce we're going to have Dr. Maria Smith uh, joining our, uh, our event this year. And she is with the Department of Horticulture and Crop Science, and she is a viticulture outreach specialist, which means, if you don't know what that means, she is an expert on uh, wine, uh, uh, wine grapes and uh, the, the pruning of those types of uh, wine. Farms. Okay. Now, since it's Grape a, farms, a pruning school, yes. I have a question. Is this all classroom work, or do you actually oh, no. get a chance to go out in the fields? Right. Uh, that's uh, that's very exciting. That's the exciting part is the, the morning session is going to be a lot of classroom uh, presentation type of stuff, but then after we come back from lunch, yes, uh, we are planning on taking people out on the wagons, loading those up, and uh, heading out and actually letting people see some of the pruning demonstrations. Okay. Uh, Dr. Dr. Smith is going to be showing us grapevine, great, wow, I can't talk, grapevine pruning. Dr. Gow is going to be doing some blueberry pruning, and then Ryan Slaughter will be showing us some blackberry and elderberry pruning techniques. Okay, so do you need to have any experience, be a professional farmer? Oh, no. Or if you're starting out new, is this a workshop you can attend? Well, much like all of the workshops that we hold here uh, with Dr. Gao, it's, it's kind of geared toward, it's, it's uh, great for someone who has experience or it's also a great for someone who's just getting started. In fact, I had a lady call me and register already and she has a small farm and she's just kind of interested in uh, getting started with this type of stuff, you know, just trying to learn. And uh, I told her it would be an excellent opportunity. So we have those types of people, but then we also have people who are quite used to doing this. And one of the things that Dr. Gao told me as we were working up some publicity items for this event, he said that learning to prune is kind of like learning to swim. You, you just kind of got to do it right. to be able to get good at it. It's not something that you can just attend one workshop or watch a few videos or read a few articles and then you have it. It's pruning is kind of like an art and it's something that you need to do and do and do and uh, if you do it enough then you're going to get good at it. I kind of wondered if that was the general idea because I know with just in the garden or the flower beds and what you prune and when you prune them. So do you go over those basics then? Um, I'm, uh, so this is going to be my first pruning okay. school, but um, just kind of looking at the agenda and what he has on here, uh, they're going to be talking about hardy figs, hardy kiwis, and grafted blueberries. That's one of the first things that's going to be on the agenda. Uh, we're going to be talking about the grafting of fruit, uh, fruit plants, and Bill Johnson is going to be here with us. I forgot to mention that. Not the congressman, but he is a Franklin County Master Gardener volunteer, so he is going to join us as well. And then right before lunch, Maria is going to go over the grapevine printing techniques. Well, that sounds really interesting. And then just to let everybody know again, it's the Blueberry, Bramble, and Wine Grape Pruning School. Right. It will be held Thursday, March 14th, 2019 from 9.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Right, and you know, we, we, had to, we had to cut it off somewhere where, you know, Blueberry, Bramble, Wine Grape, we couldn't talk, we couldn't get all the things that we're gonna talk about just for the length of the title. But like I said, there's gonna be other pruning okay. things that we talk about as well. Uh, now, it is, is there a cost associated with this? Do they need to bring their own materials to take notes, or are they getting anything? Um, you know, you can bring your own uh, material to take notes. Well, I mean, we're going to give you uh, a few handouts when okay. you come. But $25 is the cost, uh, $25 per person to attend this. And we are still taking registrations for this event up until a week from tomorrow. So uh, March 8th is the cutoff date. Um, uh, you know, we, we ask that people, I'm not going to, if someone registers a few days late, we'll try to accommodate them, right. but we do ask that people try to get 
word to us that they're coming in enough time so that we can get the catering all figured out and make sure we have enough food for everybody. Right, and we wouldn't want anybody not to be fed a lunch and that that's right. That catering thing. That's one of the highlights of any one of these days. We it have. is. It's also a highlight and just to give the caterer a, a heads up of hey we're going to have this many people right. so that cut off date and registration is really important. Yep. And registration is really easy. Um, you can just give me a call or email me um, and my number is 740-289-2071 and you can reach me directly at extension 115 and my email address is Sherman, my last name, S-H-E-R-M-A-N dot 1473 at osu.edu and if you go to our website southcenters.osu.edu you can check out all the info right there on the home page there's a link uh, to a story a press release just talking more about the event, there's the copy of the flyer on there and if you want to learn any more about it you can go there to the website and find out more okay great well why I've got you on here mm -hmm. we're going to switch gears and we are going to talk about the small business development centers mm -hmm. they have a few workshops that are coming up here mm -hmm. the first one actually will not be here on site it is going to be at the Ohio University Chillicothe campus it is called trade wars and US tariffs it's just an update on the tariff situation and what's going on mm -hmm. they're going to talk about about China and other partnering countries that we have tariffs with and any kind of new tariff exclusions that might be coming up and then the sanctions that are going on in Iran and other compliancy issues. It is a free of charge workshop that will be held again at March 13th, 2019, and you can actually contact me. My number here at the South Centers is 740-289-1605, or by email, my email's done, D-U-N-N dot 595 at osu.edu, and I can get you registered for that. We're taking registration up to the day before of the workshop. You know, it sounds like uh, it'd be really interesting, and especially in the news, we're, we're all the time hearing about these tariffs, particularly with China. So, uh, but but there's other places covered there as well. I mean, you, th you hear China all the time, but there's tariffs associated with lots of different places you want to send your. I goods, know, and so. I couldn't imagine being a business owner right now and exporting. Yeah. So that's why Kelly O'Brien, she is our exporting director here. She specializes in exporting. So if you are currently exporting and you need help. Give her a call. She's up to date with all of the policies and procedures, and she can actually help you export. And then last, we have coming up, this is several weeks out on May the 2nd, but it's one of our most popular workshops, Brad. It is the U.S. Department of Labor Information Seminar. And what a good-looking flyer, too, by it the way. It is very good-looking. Thanks for all of your help You're welcome. I did. Yes, I'm putting a plug in for myself <laughs> designing that. That is okay. It will get you up to date with all of your state and federal labor laws. If you have any questions about a salary worker, say, do they get overtime? How many breaks do they get? New nursing mothers, what's the update and regula regulations, as I butcher that word on that. You'll also find out if there's anything going on in the EEOC, the FLSA, and all the other HR updates. So be looking for this. We do have our listserv with the business team. The flyer will automatically be sent out when we're taking registration. It'll probably be another three or four weeks before it hits our listservs and all of our social media marketing. But it is also registration only, and you can contact me again at Dunn, D-U-N-N, dot five nine five at osu dot edu or seven four zero two eight nine one six zero five you know, Jennifer, I just want to say I, I really do love your show because I think it is so important that we do spread the word about all the things that are going on here at South Centers. And one of uh, my duties here is doing the newsletter, and I would like to come on right. and talk with you about that maybe next month. Um, so I try to promote the things that are going on. You do the same on this show. And one great way 
way to find out that you never miss a beat as far as what's going on at South Centers is to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes. If you're watching us on YouTube, please do that and turn on notifications. That way, anytime we go live or put up a new video, you're going to get to check it You'll out be the before first anybody one else. So, yeah. Now, I think we still have a few seconds. So, I know we threw a lot of workshops at you today. <laughs> as Brad said and Christy both said before, March is going to be a very busy month here for us at the South Centers and also the next few months after that. Spring, I promise, is around the corner someplace. So, we always Thank pick goodness. up with our fields and things, our field nights and whatnot that's happening here at the South Centers. So, as Brad said, both the Connections newsletter and Happenings Now is your one stop place to really find out what's going on here at the South Centers. So just to recap, we have the Market Ready Producer Training that's coming up Tuesday, March 19th. We have the Agritourism, so I can keep them in order for you, the Ohio Agritourism Conference that's coming up Monday, March 25th. Then we have the Small Farm Conference and Trade Show that will be coming up March 29th and March 30th. This one will be held here at the South Centers. We have the Pruning School, which discusses blueberry, bramble, and wine grapes. That will be March 14th here at the South Centers also. Then we have the Trade War and U.S. Tariffs update that will be coming up March 13th, and that will be at OUC and Chill Coffee. Then last coming up May the 2nd, we have the U.S. Department of Labor Information Seminar. Well, thank you so much, Brad, for being the last guest on the show. Oh, thank and you. we will look forward to seeing you next month to discuss mm -hmm. the Connections newsletter. Yep. There's definitely a lot happening now. There is, and I do believe that that is the kind of the end of the year newsletter. So it has mm -hmm. a recap of everything that's Correct. went on here at the South Centers. That's right. So we will see you next month on Happenings Now.